Hello everyone, um, my name is Anthony Jim. I'm responsible for the group marketing division of uh, TSL Tesselon. And um, I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Dennis Law. Uh, please make a big hand to him. He's the right brain for today. In fact, he manages our corporate uh, planning division. It's not that um, Dennis and I only have uh, half a brain, we have both sides, but it's like our functions in the company, uh, uh, respectively, is acts like the left brain and the right brain um, for the business running. Why are we talking about this? It's because I think um, today we're talking about the marketing and the strategy and uh, how does it, uh, and uh, we're, we're thinking that actually marketing is a combination of both. It's a combination of both art and uh, business. So that's why both the left brain and white brains should work cohesively together to maximize the business results. This is a typical strategic marketing and planning process. So I think typically if you start a business or if you run the business, you would like to set a goal and a direction actually, right? If you want to set up a new fashion store, you want to create a dessert store, you want to set up a goal and a direction. And then you would like to have a strategic planning, a diagnosis about external factors, the competition, the industry, customers, uh, company, what are your strengths. And then from these, you're going to um, have the setting on the overall business direction like identifying your target market and then to set up a unique selling proposition we call it a USP, you know, a specific character and positioning of your brand and what you represent. And then you would like to formulate an integrated marketing plan like promotion, like pricing, like what kind of products, where you're gonna sell it. So, and then you will see how it works so you're going to see if the business results are, the feedback and review, how the customers perceived it, what kind of evaluation and what kind of recommendation you would like to draw on that, and then it go rounds and round again. So we're going to take you through with a real example. You show that different parts of the left brains and white brains will be used effectively. We set the goal together, and then Dennis will be showing you how to do the strategic planning, and then we'll work together on agreeing on a target market and unique selling proposition. And then me and my team will be showing you the marketing plan we, we have launched. And then we'll see how the feedback and review are. Anyone playing chess now? No? <laughs> I think it is out, this game is outdated. But uh, playing chess is a very left brain activity, right? But I can tell you. Uh, launching, formulating and launching a marketing campaign is an equally left brain activities. It involves a lot of computation, calculation, and today you are very lucky. Today we will open up our brain for you, our brain for you to see well, how the left brain and the right brain work together to formulate our strategy. So we are the left brain people and I think in a jewelry market, when, me, when many people are so creative, so talented, they are mostly the right brain, right brain people. So we are a little bit strange creature in this company. We are thinking of some, something differently. What is our, men, our mentality? We are fact-based. We didn't, I sometimes heard some of the colleagues say that I feel the market is coming back. Why? How? I would like to ask you one question. How many of you like our campaign? The first one, will it? Zero? <laughs> well, the second one is the crossover with Vivian Tan? Okay, more. How about the third one? Okay. Wow, it seems that we are quite successful in, the, in attracting this segment. But, <laughs> As you remember, as the left bringer, I would not satisfy with this kind of like counting approach. Remember, I, 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 I'm a numeric a specific person and develop a framework to evaluate our campaign.